Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Rody and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is his ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The corrections and the motivation that we give him when we're working with him and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction that's needed. And the only correction that we give is a tug and release on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. He's going to come home with his very own training equipment and you're going to be taught how to use that properly tomorrow with your lesson with Rich. Now he is sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is roadie heal. Now at this point he has a job to do and keep your eye on where Rich keeps his left hand. It's down close to him so he doesn't have a lot of slack and he's maintaining pace with Rich. His shoulders should not pass Rich's left leg. If Rich turns, he should turn. And when Rich stops his feet, Rhodey has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. So when you're walking down the street and you stop to cross traffic, or talk to a neighbor, he should be stay. sitting nicely. This is your sit, stay. Stay is a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. So don't use his name, use the flat of your palm about an inch or two from his muzzle and lengthen out the amount of time he can hold this. And you can practice indoors. When Rich returns back to him, he walks right back to his shoulders. He praises him for a good job and they take off healing again. And for you as an owner, you don't want to over praise, at least for the first week or so, because you don't want to amp him up. He comes with enough amp for everybody. Stay. There's another sit, stay. And as easily as distracted as he is, you're going to work this up to three minutes, even if it's in the house. And this time, instead of returning back to him, Rich will call him. It's Rody come. And Rody came and sat, not came and lunged himself. And he's still got all that spunk. He's still a funny puppy, but he's a strong puppy and we don't want you to get hurt. If he starts that itching, that's a distraction and Rich doesn't let him get away with it. Stay. There's another sit, stay. Rich does use his name on the come. And you probably can't even hear Rich because he tries to keep his tone not too excited when he calls him in because, we, again, we don't want him to get overly excited and jump on you. So you keep your tone very level. Rich is walking slow just to demonstrate that he should walk at your pace. Nice automatic sit. This is your down from a heel position. So with him seated at your left, left open palm straight down towards the ground and the one word command to down and stay. Now you practice this indoors as well as outdoors too. And lengthen out the amount of time and the distance that you can go. Rich returned back to his shoulders. His job is to hold it until he gets another command. Rich told him to heal and he jumped up and starts healing again. And 
and they'll demonstrate that down from a heel position again. If you notice, when Rich turns, he turns. He's right there at heel. There's no tension on that leash. Now, Rich took a step in because he was going to put his nose on the ground and get himself all distracted, and he's not allowed to do that. A down is a down, not let's eat sticks. Nice cum. And then the very last command is going to be your distance down. This is harder because you're not right next to the dog, but you leave him in a sit-stay. You don't want to go too far away in the beginning. This is the only time that you're going to use your right hand to give the command. Down. Stay. Down. And you notice when he's doing something wrong, Rich takes a step in. That makes you bigger. It makes you more in charge. And immediately he stops doing what he was doing. <laughs> and looks at his trainer, which is what he's supposed to be doing. Rich called him out of that, has him sit. Now we have demonstrated for you all of your pup's new formal on-leash obedience commands. He has done a great job. He's a big boy, he's strong, and he's strong-willed as well. So we hope that you enjoy this. We will see you tomorrow. Have a great afternoon, and thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.